and yes, it's a big risk. You jump off this monthly wage check that comes in that lodges in your bank account and pays all their bills for you. And that's a big you know, jump from there to, uh, to running your own business, but just simply do it, just get on with it. Well, when I meet friends of mine who have, who have uh, normal full-time office-based jobs and uh, I describe my day to them and all the different things that I've done, uh, during that day, they, they're gobsmacked and they say, oh wow, I'd, I'd love to have your lifestyle. I felt utterly bored working for the one client and what I wanted was a business where I would have the, the challenges of, of having a business and having the people skills and having the, the people problems of, of, of you know, running a staff. Um, but in addition to that, I wanted the, the, the ability to be able to jump between projects, jump between different projects that are both interesting and complicated. But it, it, the only risk, the risk involved was, was, if you like, to the collateral that you build up through, say, a mortgage or savings. That's a risk. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's only stuff. I knew that if it went wrong and I owed the bank money, I could go back to work and pay off my debts. You know, so what was there to lose? It really was as simple as it means I'll be able to pick my son up from school. I mean, it really, that, but the thing that I wasn't thinking I'll make X amount of money, I thought, well, I'll probably have the same sort of, you know, salary pattern, if you like, that I've had working for someone else, but I'll be able to, I would perhaps, you know, be able to leave at a reasonable time and maybe take a little bit more time off. So it was probably flexibility, in charge of, you know, your own destiny. I did literally fall into it. Wish I could say I'd planned it. And I thought, if I don't do it now, I'll never set up my own business. And then I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what if. So I thought, right, well, take the jump. They didn't talk to me for a while. Because uh, the job with Shell was loads and loads of money, and uh, and it's and I'd spent you know seven years trying to get it. So then when I turned it down, they weren't very happy. So um, I know my mum now works for us, so I suppose she's come around to the fact that it was the right idea. But um, it was a big decision, but I thought, like, like I said, I thought that, you know if I don't take it, I might regret it. And uh, you only regret the things you don't you don't do in life. I found so I'll give it a shot. That was my first benchmark. One year, reassess the situation, see if if there was a stupid decision not to take the shower track or not. So, um, fortunately it wasn't. It, it involves a lot of time with my laptop on my knee. Um, I, I've, I've not long got married, so juggling the 24-7 um, the, 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 the world of the iPhone and the, and the internet at the moment with, um, with the social life and, and, and home life is, is very difficult. But again, um, having the right person around you, understanding um, the commitments and, 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 and this is a, an investment in our time that we're making for the, for the better future of, of all our, our friends and family really is, is going to be um, it's going to be important and, and, and certainly my, my wife uh, understands that greatly. Um, you know we've both got young families and so there's all of these things sort of running through our mind um, about well what if it goes wrong and, and there's a million reasons why we shouldn't do it. Um, and it kind of it, it, the, the hard bit was to actually say yes, come on, let's do this, and really make that commitment. Um, and, and when we did, it, 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 it felt a huge relief, to be honest. Um, and then from there, things just moved so quickly.